What's going on YouTube? My name is Alex. This is As to Cheese Gaming. I'm back with a new retro pickups video for you guys. Oh, is this one gonna be a fun one? I've been long overdue for this video. Make sure you stay all the way to the end to see something very, very special that I showed up that I managed to get my hands on. I'll show that off last. <clears throat> so without any further ado, let's just jump in. We're gonna start off with two Xbox 360 games that I picked up recently. First one is Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Mutants in Manhattan. I think this is based off one of the TV series. Started the game so far, seems pretty fun. Got this for about 20 bucks. No manual though, but been enjoying it so far. Haven't had too much of a chance to really dive deep into it, but we'll see. I also managed to finally get back into, yeah, back into my collection. Dante's Inferno, also for the Xbox 360. This game is so much fun. What a wonderful hack and slash adventure game. Really enjoyed this one. Got the manual in there too. Got it for pretty cheap, about eight bucks. Manual's a little beat up, but that's okay. Just happy to have it back in the collection, so if I ever feel like playing it, I could pop this in. Now, thanks to my wonderful friend Matt, who's part of the Retro Collective Trade Group. We did a little bit of trading, and he sent me Wave Race Player's Choice Edition. I already have the regular Wave Race, but I wanted to get the Player's Choice Edition as well. So now I got this in their collection. We're going to continue on with the Nintendo 64. Recently got Multi-Championship Racing. I have no idea if the Multi-Racing Championship, excuse me. I have no idea if this is any good, but I figure, you know what, for five bucks, why not? I'll try it. Maybe I can get you guys a review on it too. So stay tuned for that. One of the games that I picked up for my buddy, which I'm going to be sending him since he gave me Wave Race. Because he's missing this in his collection. Triple Play 2000. Unless you're a real hardcore baseball fan, I wouldn't recommend this one. I think Major League Baseball featuring Ken Griffey Jr. is the way to go for baseball games. Just stick with that one. Yeah. The thing looks pretty good. Label's a touch faded, but beyond that, the game's looking pretty clean. You got it nice and cleaned up for me. There was actually a bunch of permanent marker on there, but I managed to get it all buffed out, so the game looks a lot cleaner now. Continuing right along to some games that are better than just okay. I got the Japanese version of Star Fox 64 for 15 bucks. Now, in order for this to play in a English system, the pins in the back, which I'll show you guys, right back here this is actually different this doesn't quite fit into the standard nintendo 64 so what he was nice enough to do if you look up there i don't know if you can see it on the camera and of course the label's all in japanese he took out the screws so take the whole back off is the inside of that screws are taped up there the board of the game and all i have to do let me make sure i don't touch anything i shouldn't is just pop the game in like that and it plays just fine if you guys have been paying any attention to my channel recently, I'm sure you've seen me play some of this in a video, enjoying it. If you want to see more, feel free to leave me a comment down below. So we'll continue on to a game that's even better than Star Fox. Well, arguably. I got The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. This is just the standard edition. Fortunately, I'm still missing the gold cart, which I do eventually want to pick up. But for now, at least I got Ocarina of Time. I saw it there and kept thinking about it, kept thinking about it. I said, you know what, I'm just gonna bite the bullet. Cause I think about 40 bucks with tax. So I said, you know what, let's get it back in the collection. Have it, that way I could play it again. Played it, works pretty good. Well, lately I've been a little more busy with Majora's Mask. And speaking of games that I really wanted to have in my collection that I was hunting for the longest time, Gauntlet Legends. I don't think I need to say much more about this game. Got it for 40 bucks and ah, oh, this game is so much fun. What an awesome RPG. This one is definitely a fun dungeon crawler and I highly recommend anyone. If you can manage to get your hands on a copy, do it. And speaking of when I bought this, I also was able to get Ox. Corner's a little messed up here. They've seen better days, but hey, Got the box to Gauntlet Legends and I got the game. So we'll set that back there. There's the game to go with it. 
so looking pretty sharp. It's been looking nice on the shelf. Now, I also have a recent package in trade that I got, so we're going to dig right into the trade. So thank you to Linden from Old School Games and Stories. Please go subscribe to his channel if you haven't already. I will leave a link to his channel and pinned comment down below. So let me grab this box. The... Gauntlet Legends. So thank you again. I did a cool trade with Lyndon. So feel free to watch his video and see what he sent me. Let me crack this box open on the bottom. He definitely taped it up pretty nicely. More bubble wrap. You never go wrong with bubble wrap. Ooh, looks like he even gave me a little bonus surprise, too. Ah, right, I forgot that I wanted to get this from him. He gave me Speed Racer, the video game for the Wii. Ooh, maybe we got a new time trial game for all of you. Check this game out together. Hmm. Maybe we'll have to feature that in a couple weeks. After some Extreme G plate. Looking pretty nice. Thank you very much, Mr. Game Shirk, you're himself. Old school games and stories. Lots and lots of bubble wrap. I've officially been bitten by the game shark. Thank you very much, Lyndon. I really appreciate this. I'm going to wear this proudly. This is definitely going to be worn quite regularly. So thank you very much. I appreciate that. I actually had one from Myrtle Beach, but unfortunately mine kind of fell apart. So happy to have a shark tooth necklace again. More bubble wrap. Ooh, what do we got in this little package? Let's check it out together. Pretty sure I remember what I asked for. Ooh, what awesome wrapping he did here. We have game manuals. Diddy Kong Racing. Hmm, looks like I'm gonna have to be on the hunt for the box for that. Standard Nintendo instruction consumer information. Ooh, that's gonna have to go in my Gauntlet Legends box. The insert for Diddy Kong Racing. Ooh, actually now I gotta get the box. Star Wars, Super Star Wars, excuse me. I have the box for this. Now I have the manual. I was actually missing the manual on the insert, so that'll be almost complete. Mortal Kombat Trilogy, a personal favorite of mine. Happy to have this. And last but certainly not least, Gauntlet Legends Instruction Manual. Now I have that game complete in box. So thank you very much, Lyndon, for sending me these manuals. I will. I'm very happy to have them in the collection now. That's quite nice. Let me set these off to the side. But that's not the best. Still got one more package to go through, so hold on. Let me clear some stuff away. Hope you're still here with me. A random little package that I picked that I had sent to me. I'm gonna show this off first. And then I think you'll start to understand why I have this. Small little thing here. This is the little clip because... Dun dun dun! Can't believe I have this in the collection now. Let's go! Watermelon Red, fantastic Nintendo 64. Now mine and in the collection. But the issue is that this little part is the wrong color. So right now we're gonna pop that off and we're gonna put the proper one on. No expansion pack to it, it's the standard. So let's do that right now. Now it looks proper. 
picked this up at my local retro game store as you can see right there for 150 bucks came with the cords and the controller I also came with the standard gray controller which wasn't the one that I needed so I traded all that back and after tax I think I walked out and paid about 140 bucks for it so I'm happy about that now what would this controller be if I hadn't also purchased The matching fantastic controller also the watermelon red so there we go got my fifth nintendo 64 fantastic now in the collection oh what a joy it's gonna look so nice next to the other ones got three more to go well, like i said again make sure you check out old school games and stories thanks for watching till next time